neuroscientifically speaking, what's the connection between curiosity and your favorite food? Picture this, you've had a crazy hectic day, so much so that it's now 7 p.m. and you realize you haven't eaten a thing since dinner last night. How satisfying will that first bite be? Delicious. Here's what's fascinating. It has been demonstrated by neuroscientists that a brain that is hungry for information looks remarkably similar to a brain that is hungry for food. This means that our brains find knowledge in and of itself rewarding. We crave it. It's the reason that trivia games are so popular. But as always, with the brain, there's a twist. As I'm sure you are aware, not everyone is equally curious. Even though we all crave information, some folks actually avoid it. It seems to be best explained between how our brain evaluates potential cost and benefit of incorporating the new information into our human database. But when might knowledge become too costly? Well, it seems according to the latest research that our brains may avoid information that seems to threaten our belief systems, particularly when those belief systems are central to our identity. This is why knowledge is not really power, identity is, and that's the cost of curiosity. Stay curious, my friends. Stay curious.